Thank you. Okay, y'all. Here's breakfast. They didn't follow my omelet, so I just followed it myself. But I'm finna eat. So yeah. Hey everybody, it's your girl and Sandy Drew, and I'm back today with another video. from tie down below it is the second week of our a moving week yes i'm in the elevator because you already know you, if you saw the first week of our week you already know it was a whole lot a whole lot of but i'm not sure if i already showed it to y'all or not i probably didn't i don't know but i went to breakfast um earlier today oh my gosh y'all look at their board hold up we're putting up boards right now so this is franklin's board it looks really nice this is really nice okay Whatever, but um, I'm coming to get my laundry. But it is now the second week of our A um, training week. Last week, you already know it was a whole lot, a whole lot of, there was a lot of emotions last week. So we're trying to start off this week in nice and good. So I showed y'all the dining hall, cause I remember I wanted to show y'all that and I did show y'all that last week. But it's been really nice being able to go back to the dining hall. And then for the rest of the day today, I didn't really show too, too much because we talked about programming. So we started talking about the first programs that we want to do in August. And um, I started working on my bulletin board finally. Nothing is up on the bulletin board, so y'all didn't miss anything. But I just started like cutting out my letters and cutting out the things I need to put on the board. So once I start doing that, I'm definitely going to show y'all. But we just had a little RE movie night. I'll probably put that clip in right now. My little movie night. Still working on my board. Movie night. But we just had a little RA movie night, which is really fun. Everybody didn't show up, but it was really cool for people who did show up. We watched um, The Package, I think is what the name was called. It was on Netflix. That was pretty cool. Some RAs brought some popcorn. It was just a nice little way to end our night together and all of that just to get to know each other a little bit more because you know when school year starts everybody's gonna be busy so it's really cool to just get to know everybody but i came here to go i came here to come get my laundry so i just wanted to come and show y'all um i'm on the second floor right now so there's a whole lot of whole lot of in there first time that i'm doing laundry since coming here so i guess i'll show y'all me picking it up or whatever Y'all, I'm so short. I don't know why I decide to like pick the top dryer, but I picked the top dryer because like, I feel like if I picked the bottom dryer, it's too close for my stuff to hit the floor. I don't know, but I should like, this is too high for me. All the residents haven't moved in yet, so it's been pretty cool. Like this is my first time doing laundry since being here, but still just like coming in the laundry room and not having to fight for a line for like a washer or whatever. It's been nice. So, now that I have my laundry, I said it's like a little after 11. I think I'm going to fold these clothes and I have some like bedding stuff in here as well from uh, my old room that I need to clean up. So, basically what I think I'm gonna do next is fold these clothes. I was supposed to make dinner today because it's Sunday and I finished all my dinner yesterday. But it's really late and I wanted to make shrimp. And you know, if you're somebody who cooks, you know shrimp is not something you can do at the last minute because with shrimp, you got to clean it and devein it. And that's just a whole lot of a lot that I'm not trying to do right now. So I'll just cook dinner tomorrow. I just had some popcorn. Um, so I know I think I should be fine if I just drink some water to go to sleep. I have some snacks I might eat. I just really don't feel like cooking nothing at 11 in the night. And I'm pretty sure my roommate would not appreciate me trying to cook some shrimp. So, um, yeah, I'll probably just do this and then head to bed for tonight because we have training early, early in the morning tomorrow. And I got to be on the other side of campus, which means that I got to be up early, early. 
so I gotta get as much rest as I can. So that's what I'm finna do, and I'll check back in with y'all tomorrow. For real, for real this time, I'ma check back in with y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, hey y'all, good morning. It is now day two of the second week of training. Let me just turn y'all around. But today is denim day, so I just turn y'all back around. Today is denim day, so you know I got my denim dress on, just went to dress up, and then I have my denim jacket over there in the back to wear. Had to be a little festive because on all of the days, I really didn't dress up that much because I just really didn't know what to wear or I didn't want to put the outfit together. So I dressed up today, but we are in Stanford right now. And today we're just talking about, um, we talked about like the systems that we need to go through and just getting ourselves familiar with all of that. Then we have some simulations that we're gonna do tomorrow. So we've met our leaders of the different group simulations. So basically tomorrow's gonna be like real life. If this were to happen, what would you do? And then just getting feedback from it. So I'm nervous and excited about tomorrow because it may be hard, it may be easy, but it shouldn't. It's all a learning experience. So it's not like they're not expecting you to know everything. They're just want to see where you're at right now. So like if this were to happen, you know what to do in that situation. So that's gonna be cool. But we just met our leaders on that sort of stuff. And we're finna head to lunch now. So I'm finna go there and I'll probably show y'all both in yeah. Hey y'all, hey y'all. So I actually forgot to show y'all lunch. Please don't charge it to me. But I'll show y'all lunch tomorrow. It's nothing that big. But I did, I can show y'all a picture of my plate. I had the Chinese food today. It was at the Lemongrass Station in Bolton because they had orange chicken. And if you go to UGA, you know when Bolton in that line over there has orange chicken, you get orange chicken. So that's what I did. And I had me some brown rice, some tofu, some vegetable dumplings, and some green beans, string beans, whatever. So yeah, that's what I had for lunch. I can show y'all a picture. But um, we just talked about like customer service and things like that today, and more like just administrative things. But it's about to get into the fun things. So basically, it's time for me to put my boots and board up. So I went through, I printed everything last night. I cut everything last night. Well, I cut most of the stuff last night and I finished cutting like not too long ago. So it's time to put it up. So here's a little before action. It's very much so not giving. It's giving vandalism. Like it's just, it's just not giving what it's supposed to give. So basically I'm about to do my board right now and I'm probably gonna do like a little time lapse so y'all can see it transform from this to what it's gonna be. I'm excited. So yeah, let's do that. Hey y'all, hey y'all. So I just finished my board. It's a good bit after, but let me show y'all. So it says start the semester sweet and outside. It's a little sour patch theme. And we have ways for them to get involved, how to take a break, self care, how to eat well. So just like things about nutrition, things like that, getting active. So just like going to the gym and like other places outside you can go to how to stay organized, how to plan, um, stuff like that. And then I have how to meet people with the cabinet of events. And of course we have the important numbers with the record desk and all that sort of stuff. So it's pretty cool. People could come up and read what it says and get the link for where to go to, or they could just come by and scan the QR code. So I'm really excited. It came out really cute and I like it. So yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna go make dinner now. So let me wrap all this up and then we'll go to the room. So y'all, I'm back in the room. I'm actually tripping if you hear all the stuff in the back. I actually started cooking, I forgot. But I'm gonna show y'all what's on the meal or what's on the menu for this week. Um, We have some corn cooking up. I only did one can of corn. Like I usually get the big cans, but I had one small can. So I was just like, okay, let me just do that. Cause I'm going home at the end of the week. Then we have some honey garlic shrimp over here. You already know, you already know. And then we have some brown rice over there. 
So you just, you know, just a little something slight, just a little something something. But yeah, I'm almost done cooking. I'm just waiting on this shit to be done, which it is almost done, like right now, really. Um, and then this is about all that I'm gonna do for the night. And I think I'm just gonna brush the teeth, wash my face, take a shower after I'm done eating, of course, and then go to bed. Cause tomorrow we gotta be at our training at eight in the morning and it's not over here so i need to get some sleep so i can get on the bus on time because that was a little late because tomorrow is like really important so yeah i'll probably see y'all tomorrow every single night like every night every time i come home like tomorrow, i have friends I want to relax. and i want to enjoy my college experience okay, what's wrong with that what's wrong with that your friends who cares about your friends when Were you like, I'm trying to Okay, I'm one of your challenge because I have it. Like I wanna sleep. Okay. You don't have all of it. You don't have any balls. You don't have any when I can't sleep if she has friends over all the damn time. Alright, alright. Y'all get so much more done without yelling at each other. Like I promise you, you'll be able to talk much better and have an actual discussion about it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take five seconds and y'all gonna relax. And then we're gonna tighten up and we're gonna come back. So take five seconds. Think about your genuine concerns with each other, not out of anger, but like as, to survive your year. And then we'll come back and we'll figure it out. Um, I don't have a copy with of your roommate agreement on me right now, but y'all can break down what y'all told each other. So take it away. I've taken my five seconds. Um, um, take five don't. more then. You need five more. You need five more. <laughs> and I think you need five more as well. Okay. Alright, okay, wait, wait. Do we need more? Y'all y'all really this is No, not, I'm ready. I need to say ready. I need to say I that. Want, I want, I so this is what we're gonna do. He's gonna talk first and let him get everything off his chest and then you just let him talk. If you don't agree with it, it's fine. You're gonna get a chance to. Alright. You have articulate your thoughts clearly, don't yell. Just what's what's on your mind. Okay. I come home every night okay. and she's always having friends over and even like on the weekdays i don't care about the weekends i don't care if she has friends over on the weekends okay. but the weekdays when i come home and i'm trying to do my work like how am i going to focus when she has friends over and they're always watching tv and they stay over and so when i get up and go to the bathroom like i'm stepping over a body laying on are the they, are they staying like because she doesn't know how to respect boundaries are they staying like multiple nights in a row yes okay um they're always here and she's talking about me and my schoolwork but how am i going to focus on my schoolwork when she always has guests over there, someone has to do it. Well, okay, what are, what are your concerns? What are your concerns? Well, at the end of the day, I like to come in here, and just chill with my friends, have some people over, talk about our day, and maybe do some studying together. But I don't appreciate so how every what? time I come in with my friends, there's sauce everywhere, his towel's always wet on the floor. It's just disgusting. And like, it's embarrassing for me to bring my friends in here and have it's all that mess. Okay, we'll later. okay, so what I'm hearing is your biggest concern is the cleanliness, right? It's the mess. Yes, and, and then he is the not yes. okay. in a good mental state. I mean, like, he's not doing so well in his classes. Okay, but see, but leave that between him and his class. Exactly. If she said this to me again, I will actually all right. hurt her. No, you won't. I will. <laughs> the, the, we will be fighting. Wait, wow. Like quad. I don't want to fall. I don't feel safe. Can I go outside? I don't feel safe. All right, let's break here so we have time. Uh, hey, um, it's a little lunch brunch. Break of his vibes. <laughs> talk to y'all not gonna cut but we've just been doing a whole lot a whole lot of so today is Thursday of the second week of RA training um and moving official moving is tomorrow we've had some people moving in since like last week but they were like people who are working and today we have like volunteers for moving um moving in if that makes sense um but yeah, basically, 
right now I'm putting up my door decks. I'm gonna show y'all them, but do not judge me because one, these are university wide. We're not making personalized door decks like usual schools do. This is what they look like. Um, we're not making personalized ones like other schools do because of like, you know, privacy reasons and things like that. Or just like, you know, people have preferred names that they don't actually tell us. Which is kind of a bummer if you're asking me because I kind of wanted to do door decks. I thought like that would be really cute. Give me one second. We're not doing personalized door decks or anything this year, which like I said, is kind of a bummer. But yeah, I'm just putting my stuff up right now. Literally everybody else is basically done with theirs, but my stuff isn't done because I was helping with our residence hall directors just getting key packets and things together for our move-ins for tomorrow and Saturday. So that's really been all that's been going on. Just a whole lot of running around, making sure that rooms are cleared, make sure that rooms are checked, make sure there's no damages, anything like that. So I had to put up all of these door decks. I've only done two doors so far. And then when I'm done with that, I need to put up literally all of these flyers, which is crazy how we have so many flyers to put up and we haven't even put up like event flyers for actual RAs. These are just like university flyers and stuff. So it's a whole lot, a whole lot of, but I wanna get to doing this because y'all, I'm going home <laughs> um, tomorrow night. So I need to finish this stuff up. I need to actually finish putting everything up in my room so I know what I need or if I need anything or if I need to bring anything back home for tomorrow. So let me do that and I'll definitely show you everything when I'm done putting all this stuff up because of course I'm gonna be proud and excited of my room, but or of my floor but let me do that and i'm gonna check back in with y'all later okay y'all so i just finished up putting up all my door decks and the flyers you can kind of see some of the stuff behind me but let me just show you real quick so here's what the doors that look like and stuff so we just put them on the things and then y'all already so so much stuff and literally only one of these things that you see up here is an ra event so there's a whole lot going this semester, but let me tell y'all one thing that I'm already excited about. I'm not sure when this video is going to come out, but baby, Chico Bean and Visa Simone at UGA. At UGA, y'all, this is a big step for us. This is a big step for me and my people. I'm excited. I'm going to be there. You already know. You already know I'm going to be there, okay? But yeah, just put up all the stuff. You can kind of barely see them. But they're everywhere and of course you see my board but yeah i just wanted to show y'all that um yeah now i'm gonna go to my room and like i said i'm gonna go try and put up the rest of the decorations that i have before the night is over and i'm kind of hungry and i made dinner for this week you already saw me i made dinner but i'm really feeling for some zaxby's clearly i can't go and get zaxby's but i think i might get chick-fil-a delivered because that's the closest thing i can get to zach v's that i feel safe getting so that's how what i'm gonna do and i'll probably check in with y'all when i'm done doing my room hopefully i finish my room tonight hey y'all hey y'all so it is the next day it is officially the first day of moving i know i said i was gonna check out the room last night but i got on the phone with family and you know when you get on the phone you be on the phone forever so i'm gonna show you the room but i did do it so i'm gonna show you the room when i get back up there but i'm currently outside because i'm working for a move in i just finished a four hour shift working at the table doing check-in giving people keys everything that you know people actually need and right now i'm being the runner so i'm just going around seeing what the different ras need at the different tables at the different buildings and getting that for them resolving any issues things like that i'm um, checking for cards blah 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 you already know um so that's what i'm doing i'm just outside to take a little breather because y'all know corona is still real and i'm not trying to be where everybody at right now so yeah um i'm just be walking around doing that sort of stuff and I will show y'all my room when I get back to the room whenever I'm done working. But yeah. Hey y'all, hey y'all, like I said, I'm back in the room now. You can kind of see, but yes, I did put up stuff in my room. So I'm gonna just give y'all a quick overview because y'all know the room tour is coming. So wait on the room tour. But I'm just show y'all a quick overview of like everything that's been put up and yeah. Okay, so you know, I got my house grind execute my god is within me i will not fail god goes grind then i have this over here that i think i'm i never really know what to put on here 
or yeah I don't really use it much to be completely honest but that's there I put my hook there for my keys see my tapestry my black queen cuz yes queen and then of course I got my string lights over here I'm thinking I may bring some of my LED lights from home over here to put right there but I'm not really sure I don't really put LED lights in my room like I've had them at home. I haven't put them up here because I feel like everybody in their mama got LED lights. And I, if you know me in person, you know, I don't like doing things that everybody else is doing. So I'm not sure if I'll bring it or not because this area just looks like it needs light. So I may bring it, but I don't know. But y'all will, of course, find out if you see the room tour. So with that being said, this has been are a training it's been a whole lot it's been back and forth but the biggest thing to know is just to be prepared for anything that goes on just know your protocol all that sort of stuff if you want me to go into in depth of what it was really like let me know and i can give you another video on that but like i said i couldn't show too too many stuff because a lot of things were very uga specific or like even today doing check-in a lot of it was sensitive information that i'm working with as far as like residents names where they live things like that and of course i would never give that information out online um or to anybody <laughs> but yeah like i said if you want to see my full room tour and everything like that make sure you subscribe to the notification bell so you will be notified when that video comes out or if you want to know anything more about what it is like to be an ra or anything like that let me know down in the description box down below and i'll definitely answer any questions or make any videos about it if it's anything that's longer and remember to follow me on Instagram at I am Steady Dream because of course I post on there way more often than I'm able to interact with y'all on a way more consistent basis. And remember that I love you all so, 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 so much. And my name is Sincerely Dream and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.